Hey guys, welcome back to Game Blitz. So, obviously, if you guys have been following my channel and, you know, watching my videos or anything, you'll know that this channel is mostly about gaming, but today, guys, we're going to be doing sort of a different type of video, kind of like an unboxing not an unboxing, but a setup tutorial for the AT&T microcell. So, this is the microcell right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a two-part setup for this. So, step number one, I'm going to show you the real-time um, physical connection of this device. So, what this does is... The AT&T microcell, it basically creates it basically creates a cell tower inside of your house, which is basically like separate from the actual AT&T cell phone towers. You're creating an actual individual tower in your house from your internet connection. So let me show you guys how I set this up for my for my setup because my setup's really weird. But it's going to be the same setup for you guys whether you're doing from a modem or through a router, whatever. It's all generally the same setup. So what you get in the box is the yellow Ethernet cable, obviously the power cable, the unit itself, and you'll get some little pieces of paper. Um, they give you a general um, step of guy or step of like walkthroughs on how to set it up, but it's not always clear. So this video should help you guys have an actual depiction of how this is set up. So first step, you plug your AC power in. Obviously, mine's already set up for purposes of the video, but you plug in the AC power adapter, you plug it into this unit. So, then when you plug that in, the first thing that will happen is your power button will come on right here. There's four green lights, power, internet connection, GPS signal, and this little four bars is the actual cell phone signal being transmitted from the unit and there's your AT&T logo so this unit is refurbished and it works just like the others now if you guys have a refurbished unit yourselves you may actually have to disconnect the other the previous owner from this device because it'll be registered under someone else's serial number mine didn't have that problem but yours might um, so just beware, that's a whole different tutorial, guys. I'll show you that maybe another day. But for the sake of just installing this unit today, the first thing you want to do is plug the power cord in. We just said that. Then you plug your Ethernet cable in to this unit. And then what I did was I plugged my Ethernet cable from the unit to my router. And then I got my router connected to my modem through the LAN port. So you plug the, the LAN cable into LAN 1, 2, 3, or 4. So I got this going to my computer, my black cable. My yellow cable is going from my modem into my router's WAN port right here. And then these are two LAN ports. So you want to plug the AT&T Microcell LAN port to LAN port either on your modem, your router, or your modem, which would be one of these four ports. Now, make sure you guys know that port 3 and port 4 on most factory modems are disabled. So you can only use LAN 1 or 2. Hence why I'm going through my router. Because LAN 3 and LAN 4 are actually disabled from the factory. There's a way to turn them on, but I don't know it yet. So I have mine connected through my router. So once you boot that up, the power comes on, once you plug the Ethernet cable in, 
So once you plug the Ethernet cable in, this internet sign comes on. And then once that's connected, it's in a waiting stage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say this. Second step is the online activation. So, once you get the power and the internet on, these two lights will not come on until you've done the online activation. So, you do your online activation, which I'm going to jump to next. I'm going to show you that second step. Once you do the online activation, you come back to this, and it'll start acquiring this little four bar signal, which is your AT&T service, and this GPS signal, and this will take roughly 90 minutes from the internet port to these two to turn on it will take roughly 90 minutes after you've completed the second step which is the online activation so guys I'm gonna cut it off here and we're gonna go to the online activation and then that will be it for your setup and it will work this will give you full bars it does not matter where you live as long as you have a solid GPS location which they recommend near a window of some sort which I've got a big window right here pointed directly at it so guys I'm gonna cut it off here let's go hey guys welcome back so this is step number two for the AT&T micro cell activation so obviously I just showed you guys you know the physical setup up to the internet connection so now we're gonna go through the online activation now some of you guys can probably just cut out of this video now because you may have had an activated system from the AT&T store or for the website whatever some of them they already have activated so if that's you go ahead and cut out of this video but if you still have not activated your system this is for you so in the box you get if you have a refurbished you get this it says thank you for choosing refurbished now this is the activation card that walks you through so it goes through some of the steps that I've already showed you. Number one, determine the best location for GPS signal. Network cable between your router and the microcell. Plug power cord in. Wait 60 minutes. Now, four, activate your AT&T account by browsing the website below. So you want to go to this website here, att.com slash 3G microcell dash activate. So I'm going to do that now. att. Okay, at dot com slash 3G Microsoft Activate. So, it takes you to this page. So, if you're a personal account holder and you're paying the bill for this, you click personal account. If you're a business account, which if you have a cell phone through your business and they pay your bill for it you click that but for the most part you click personal account obviously if your personal account so you sign in to your AT&T access which there's an access app guys if you don't have this go ahead and create one it's called My AT&T. You can get it on your Android or your iPhone device. It's called My AT&T. It's just a simple Android app. You go on there, create your account. Um, so how you register with that, your user ID is just going to be the mobile number for your account or your cell phone. And then you create a password. And then once you created that, you come back to the site and you enter your user ID and password for the My AT&T app. And then once you log in, I'm not, once you've gotten to this website, I'm not going to show you the guys the, the website because it has some of my information on it here. But 
once you get here, there's a little link here that says, um, check activation progress, which is a real time activation. So if you guys follow the steps, once you create the re device registration, it will start pending your activation, which if you're connected to the internet and you've done step one, which is a physical hookup, if you come through this and you get to this point, it will bring you to a device status. So this is your device status. Registration in progress. That is once you've completed your online registration login. Activation pending. It will then look for your microcell and make sure it's connected to the internet and the GPS. Once it's done pending, okay, it'll do the activation in progress. And this will take an hour to go from to acquire. The so this will take an hour to acquire the GPS and the 3G signal. And once you get to this step, activated, you'll be able to complete and make your call. And that is that is it, guys. Once you get activation successful, you are good to go. You're, they will actually text you, and they will email you a confirmation from AT&T once this is completed. And... They will say thank you and your microcell is activated and it will take you straight to then your AT&T device, the number that you've put into this, will it will um, automatically, it should automatically connect to your AT&T microcell and to know how that goes, it's in the top left corner of your cell phone. And then when it usually says AT&T for service, it will say AT&T Microcell. And that's how you know you're connected. You should have full service. And that's it, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like and you subscribe to this video. That would be very much appreciated. Thanks.